What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How you guys doing today? Well, before we begin this review, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors, SellCashier.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, check out the link in the description, okay? So the product I'm going to be showing you today is something that was sent to me free for review from Just Mobile. And today we have the Alu Frame Leather Case. So as you guys can see, this is a hybrid case. It's actually made of leather on the back panel here, and then the side rail is actually aluminum. And this is a $40 case. It's available in five different colors. Obviously, you have the tan version right here. They also have a pink, a gray, a blue, and a black version as well. So let's go ahead and pop in the phone into this case. I'll give you guys some close-ups and show you all the ports and cutouts. All right, guys, so as you can see, I've placed the phone into the case. It's basically just a snapback case. It pops right into place. I'll show you at the very end of this video how you actually take your phone out of it because it was a little bit tricky if you don't, uh, if you don't know exactly how to do it. So first, let's go over here. We have the, uh, the, standby, the silent switch on the side here, the mute switch. Nice big opening right there. No issues uh, at all getting my fingers into there, and so you should be having no problems if you have large fingers getting to be able to flip the switch. The volume up and down button is being blocked off, but you can still feel that nice click through there as well when you press down it, so that's very nice. Those are our aluminum buttons that are, are blocking it off. So you can get on to the side and we'll give you guys some good close-ups. So as this aluminum is really nicely cut. It's, there's no sharp edges or thing. It's very smooth. Just Mobile does a really good job when it comes to all of their products and their, the aesthetic of it. So the design of this is very simple, very nice, and it goes very well with any kind of like, you know, any iPhone. As you guys can see, it does complement the shape real nicely. We get to the bottom here. We have the uh, the regular headphone jack and the, the second or the first microphone on the bottom. We have one large opening for that. The opening is not super large, so you might want to keep in mind if you do have uh, headphone jacks that are a little bit larger. I didn't have any issues with the ones I own, but you may have ones that are maybe slightly bigger. They may have trouble uh, fitting into there. But for me, there was no problem. The lightning connector is a nice big opening. All my lightning connectors fit in here just fine. And I have some larger connectors that are bigger than the Apple one. So that shouldn't be an issue for you. And we have one big open cutaway here for the speaker. Get to the side, and we do have the standby switch, the sleep-wake button, I should say. Um, that's also being blocked off, but it does have a nice uh, aluminum button here as well, so you can still feel the click when you press on that, so that's pretty nice. When we get to the back, we have a nice cutaway here for the camera, the secondary microphone, and the flash. You can kind of see the thickness of the case right there, so it's not too thick. It doesn't add too much bulk to your, to your phone at all, but it definitely will protect the back of it if you were to drop it. You see this nice, really nice grain leather here. This is obviously the tan version, so they have the other colors like I mentioned. So that looks really nice, looks really sharp. Um, that could possibly get kind of dirty if you have a lighter color like the tan one here. I haven't seen any issues or, or noticed anything. I, I'm assuming you could probably clean it up pretty nicely if you did get any kind of stains or you know if it got a little bit dirty. But that probably would easily wipe up. But as you can see there, the leather does come right to the edge, and there are a little bit of gaps and such right here. But it doesn't—it doesn't feel like it's ever going to fall out or, or come off a of place. And probably the reason why that gap is slightly there is because the way you take it out is you have to push it through the back, and that pushes it out. So before we do it, let me go ahead and show you the front. So we do have a slight lip on the case here, if you can see right here. So there's barely, barely, barely a lip on there. So if you were to drop this face down on the ground, you could possibly still damage the uh, the screen because there's not much of a lip on the edge right there. It's pretty close to the, to the top. So I think some, some people actually prefer that because they don't like having those edges there whenever you're swiping through and things like that. They don't like having something there to block off their finger. Um, so it is pretty low profile. Just something I wanted to mention to you guys if you guys are kind of scared about that or about dropping your phone face down on the ground. I'm not saying that it's a guarantee that you're going to mess up the screen, but it is a possibility because there is not much of an of a edge of it, okay? But as you can see, nothing is being blocked off. There's nothing. It's just basically around the full edge of the phone itself. So overall, it looks really nice. It looks really sharp. The way you do take it out is you actually press it through the back right here. So if you press right here, as you can see, there's a little bit of play with the leather. There we go, and that pops out. So when you do pop it out, you can see that it's actually a shell. There's actually like a, a like a, a poly, uh, not a poly, like a TPU style shell that's on the inside, and that's how the leather is attached into there. So it snaps into place, which is actually pretty good though, because I, I, I'll be honest with you, when I first put my phone in here, I didn't realize that this back piece came out, and I was really difficult to take my phone out of it so the fact that they make it to where you can easily pop it out by pressing down on the back here it's pretty smart and it doesn't look like it's going to come off or break away or get or get damaged or anything like that so i don't think that would be an issue if you do if you like to swap out your cases a lot i don't think it's going to be an issue of this messing up or anything it seems to be holding up pretty nicely the one thing i will mention about this case that became a slight issue for me is reception so uh, aluminum cases are notorious for um, making it difficult for your your phone to connect to Wi-Fi or like a 4G LTE. 
So that is one thing you may want to consider. I uh, actually personally, my, my Wi-Fi is kind of far away from my bedroom. So when I'm using my, my phone in bed before going to bed, like watching YouTube videos or playing games or whatever that, that are on the Internet, connecting to the Internet, I was noticing that my Wi-Fi was really, really slow. And I actually tested it out a few times. And I can normally get about 12 megabyte, uh, megabytes download. Uh, megabytes per second download speed from my bedroom uh, when the case was on my phone though it dropped it almost to half like about six maybe four depending on if other people were using it and things like that so i did notice that it was kind of knocking down the signal uh, quite a bit and then and i also did notice that it was it was lowering it probably like a one bar when i was out using like lte or 4g so if you're in an area where you don't get really good cell reception that may be something to consider. If you are like me and you are kind of far away from your router in your home for Wi-Fi, it may knock your Wi-Fi down a little bit. If you're closer to the Wi-Fi router, it's probably not going to be an issue at all. You're probably not going to notice it, but I'm probably the furthest away from the Wi-Fi router in my home. And so I was definitely noticing a little bit of an issue while using this, uh, w w using my phone with the case on it. So that's one thing to consider. That's just kind of one of the drawbacks to having aluminum. It does it, it does some things to where it will block the signal just a little bit. So that's it for me, guys. This is Like I said, this is a $39.95 case. Very nice quality. All the materials look very nice. The leather and the aluminum are very nice. And Just Mobile is, is really known for their aesthetics and, and having really nicely designed products. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, go to just-mobile.com and you can purchase the case from there. Just want to give another quick shout out to our sponsor, sellcashier.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, go check out the link in the description. It's really easy. It's fast and secure. You just go online, you get a quote, you ship your phone, and then you get paid. So sellcashier.com is the, is the website to go check out. If you guys have any questions about the things I've covered in this review, make sure you post them down below. I read each and every comment in all of my videos, and I will always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, make sure you stop by GeeksterLabs.com for the latest in tech news and video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review.